Last one was pretty good. Ayo, ayo, it's currently raining. I was hailing earlier today and it was kind of like snow in a way, which is pretty rare, I guess, for Perth. Hopefully this noise is not too problematic for you right now. It might be, this video might be a write-off. You know, it is what it is sometimes. I'm making a beat. I'm using native instruments primarily with a bit of bits and bobs here and there. Hopefully this is helpful. Maybe you're considering checking out Contact. It's great, I love it. Uh, maybe you're just vibing the beat with me. Either way, I hope you're enjoying it. And if you are, hit like, hit subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Helps me out a ton. Now, let's keep going. Minimal talking. <laughs>
This is actually a pretty good little tip. Um, my face is not in focus. If you get a pad and you just play a bunch of notes, sometimes that can be like a really cool pad that's not like super stale, I guess, stagnant. So instead of me going like this, I can go like this. You can't really hear my bad playing. It just blends into one. It does the same thing, but this color and movement, I think it works really well. Depending on how I've edited this, you might be watching the screen. I keep bouncing down tracks. I love using Contact 7, however, it's not a gripe, but it is CPU intense. So having more than like a few, it just tanks my system. Maybe if you're using like a Mac M2 or something, it'll be good. My PC is getting older and older. I need to do some upgrades, but I just find with Contact 7, if there's a few, like it's it's bad time. So just render it down. It also means that you've committed to it. You don't have to worry about it ever again. Um, this applies to all CPU intense plugins. Superior Drama 2 is particularly nasty at that. Uh, Omnisphere can be. There's tons of different plugins and some of them just, yeah, guzzle CPU. So render, save yourself pain and crashes. Now I'm thinking I'd like to find a I don't know, just like a cool instrument to play some kind of melody and then we'll see how we're feeling. Balafon. I like the balafon. But maybe not right now. Perfect. Cool. I said this last video, I'm gonna say it again. I've been really, really vibing using shakers, percussion that I actually record myself. I don't know why, it just it's something that I can find on Splice so easily, but it just feels like it's my stuff, you know, it's my space. No one else has this room except for me. It just feels like something slightly unique that no one else can do. Even though anyone could technically record it, it's just like a nice little subtle source. So if you have shakers around, just use an SM57, like it sounds fun. And saying that I would really like to buy just a big box of percussion, just like random stuff that I can just throw into tracks. Like I feel like that'd be really fun. I'll even be getting some rain in this recording, I guess. Why can't I hear you anything? Oh, it's not plugged in, that's why.